North Korea. North Korea. Kim Jong Un. He said, "All my life, uh, I have feel, felt threatened by." America. Nuclear test explosion. From North Korea, a unique threat. Kim Jong Un. He believes North Korea could win a war uh, with America. New evidence of North Korea's nuclear progress. To punish the U.S. imperialists and the South Korean war mongers. They will be met with fire and fury. On the brink of a nuclear war. Are you frightened? For your family. The North Korean regime hates the United States. Nuclear threat in the Pacific. Prospect of war with North Korea. North Korea, where we are at the brink of war. Kim said Trump was a rogue and a gangster who's playing with fire. He quite plainly said uh, he believes that President Trump is mentally ill. And we can't have madmen out there shooting rockets all over the place. And by the way, Rocket Man should have been handled a long time ago. Sometimes you gotta go back to actually move forward. Korea has been a highly contested country since the beginning of the 20th century. From 1910 to 1945, Korea was ruled over by Imperial Japan. In the closing months of World War II, Korea was split into two spheres of influence at the 38th parallel, occupied in the south by American troops and in the north by the Soviets. Initially, the 38th parallel was meant to be a temporary division, but with the outbreak of the Cold War, what resulted was the formation of a communist regime north of the parallel and a US-oriented regime in the south. While this happened in Korea, neighboring China was engulfed in a civil war between the Chinese nationalists and the Chinese communists. In 1949, the communists won, and Chinese leader Mao Zedong declared the creation of the People's Republic of China and diplomatically recognized the communist North Korean regime. Any hopes of peaceful reunification were smashed when in June of 1950, North Korea invaded South Korea. Well, the Korean War, I would say, was a product of two big historical events. One was the conclusion of World War II, um, and the second was um, the emerging Cold War. Now, it was a Cold War, and that was a big, evil country, and they were so big, and they were in competition with the United States, and no freedom, very little freedom there, lots of propaganda. We had some too, but they seemed to have more. I probably didn't even know where the country was. North Korea initially enjoyed military advantages over the South Koreans, but following the U.S.'s entry into the war and the settling of logistics, modern weapons, vehicles, and troops arrived to back the South Koreans. From 1950 to 1953, a bloody and indecisive war would be fought, known as the Korean War. Though fighting subsided in 1953 with the signing of an armistice, it was not followed by a formal peace treaty. The United States is still technically at war with North Korea to this day. But should the U.S. intervene militarily once again? Though North Korea's nuclear program began in the late 1950s, it was not until the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991 that ambitions for a nuclear arsenal were pursued. Before its collapse, the Soviet Union was North Korea's main economic ally. Without the Soviets, North Korea was forced to look to the U.S. for economic support. The agreed framework was signed by the U.S. and North Korea in 1994, in which North Korea agreed to freeze its plutonium production program in exchange for fuel oil, economic cooperation, and the construction of two modern light water nuclear power plants. Nearly a decade later, in 2003, the agreement collapsed with North Korea. I don't mean going back to reminisce or chase ghost. I mean going back to see where you came from. Where you been, how you got here. See where you're going. I know there are those that say you can't go back. Yes, you can. You just have to live in the right place.